Some people call them interactive flat panels. So we know two of them up here. Others call them smart boards. So 67% of you said A, B, C, and D. But everyone calls them a great way. Really cool tool to use. To bring the newest technology into the classroom. It's easier for most kids, like I'm a visual learner, like I like seeing things on like a screen. 11,000 screens will be in classrooms in the next few years thanks to the money raised from the penny sales tax increase passed by voters in 2016. From Spanish ¿Qué más? Un gato? to science. If I add this iron brick. The smart boards display animation and videos. Using smart ink, teachers write in the correct answers. Text can be highlighted. At Wellington Landings Middle School, a lesson on World War I. Then an interactive quiz where students input answers and compete in teams. Oh, icebreakers, here we go. You're about almost halfway. When they get to pull out a Chromebook or they get to go and use the interactive flat panel, it's, it's so much more exciting to them than handing them a piece of paper and a pencil and a worksheet. The teachers who already have smart boards have spent several hours training on the devices learning skills like setting up a teleconference. How do you motivate yourself to get your work done? With the new technology, students and teachers literally have the whole world in their hands. Do we want to play with Google Earth now? Yes! yes. <laughs> I'm Rick Blackwell for the Education Network, keeping you informed.